Well, for four nights this week, our I-Team brought you the disturbing story about the alleged abuse of mentally disabled residents at the Newcastle State Developmental Center. The story is now getting national attention. Our Glenn Augustine joins us now with more on that. Glenn? Well, Mike and Debbie, the I-Team's undercover cameras caught the abuse on tape and inspired Governor Frank O'Bannon to make changes at the center. An advocate for the mentally handicapped says Indiana shouldn't be embarrassed by the story, but it should serve as a mirror to the nation about what kind of treatment won't be tolerated. Follow up now to the story we reported to you last night about the abuse of residents at a state-run home for the mentally retarded in Indiana. CBS for the past two nights, Indiana the CBS Evening Show. News ran excerpts from our I-Team investigation, including News 8 reporter Anna Warner confronting the workers who allegedly committed the abuse. We've been told that this is video of you hitting this, head, hitting this kid over the head with a clipboard. No. Tonight, Anna appeared on CNN's The World Today. And what about the public reaction to your story? The public reaction has been enormous. I watched tonight's report with John Dickerson, the head of the Indiana Association of Retarded Citizens. And I think it speaks to people in a powerful way, saying that we will not and must not tolerate this kind of behavior anywhere, whether it's in Newcastle, Indiana, or Albuquerque, New Mexico. Dickerson says as people around the nation see this story, they shouldn't think the solution to the problem is to build a more perfect institution. Over 30 states are in the process of institutional reform. How do we bring people home to their communities? How do we keep people from ever having to leave their home communities to go into an institution? And I suspect tonight there are state leaders across this country looking at this and saying, what are we doing? Now, Dickerson says after the story aired on the CBS Evening News last night, he heard from advocates in Washington, D.C. and in New Mexico. He says both callers told him that no matter how much success we've had in integrating the mentally handicapped into society, the story shows that we need to be vigilant to make sure that the kind of treatment shown in the I-Team report is prevented from happening elsewhere. Mike and Debbie. Okay. Glenn Augustine, thanks. The FBI